Oh, 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 with, with the, the Superman! 47. I took too long to move up. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That, oh, you got the camera on? This is perfect. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is perfect. <laughs> Angel, right? And Danny use you so much as a reference that the division at that time when he fought you at 140, everyone was hiding from you. Do you feel that's true? No, I, I mean... They was like, oh, we fought Kendall Hope. Nobody want to fight Kendall Hope. Everybody was ducking Kendall Hope. Danny fought Kendall Hope. He needed to get respect. He, you know, he, he fought me, beat me, split But at that time, do you feel you were being avoided at that time when he took the fight? Uh, I don't feel like I was. Other people feel like it, but I don't feel like I was being avoided. I just, I just thought, I just thought like, you know, when you know certain people turned the, the fight down, I, I figured it didn't make business sense to them to fight me at that time. Or I don't know. Sometimes people uh, said it was the money. Other people said, all right, you know, we didn't wait. You know, so, you know, time is everything in this world. You're the most important person in this camp. Am I? Absolutely. He's the most You important. hold the knowledge on both men. You've been in the ring now with both of them. What are some of the differences? Uh, I mean, the differences are night and day. Um, Herman uses legs, uses movement, uses intelligence. Danny is as smart, but he doesn't use his smarts. He basically uses his timing. His timing is impeccable. He's, you know, he catches a guy coming in, catches him going out, and anytime somebody you know uh, bet against him, he's been he's been proven wrong. Mm -hmm. But this fight, I think, is, is going to be different because you got a guy in Thurman who can move, who can box, and who can drop the, the bombs on you too. So. Such a pleasant surprise to hear him give Danny a compliment, right? So many fighters discredit Danny. No, I, I, you can't discredit a champion. Mm -hmm. I don't care who he fought, who he didn't fight. You know, you, you look at your blog and everybody says he's a cherry picker. Who, uh, who's a cherry? Who do you pick? I mean, he's fought some big, pretty big names, starting with me at 140. At 47, not so much, but to get where he is, I think he's earned the right to be called a champion. He's earned the right to be one of the top guys in the division, and he is. Man, nobody can discredit that. And you spoke about that timing, right? Like, you know, we watch Keith fight. Sometimes he gets into those exchanges. You think about that Porter fight, right? He caught this one. He caught a uh, Porter with that two piece in an exchange. Mm -hmm. Is that where the timing could become dangerous? Should he not do that? Should he be more like a uh, fight from the outside? I don't want to really name a fighter name, but someone from the outside, kind of pecking away with the jab and dropping the one two occasionally, but standing behind. I, I think that's, I think that's the safe, the safe bet. But we all know Keith Thurman, he got big He's balls. not gonna do that. <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, he's probably gonna do it for a while, but at the, at the same time, if he wants, he can get in there and, and bang it inside with Danny and disrespect it. Try this face. Most, the most old school trainers will tell you a person with power, what you do? You smother. So he can't use the power. So if he wants to get inside and bang with him inside, long he, long he protects himself, he can do that too. You can, you can make Danny uncomfortable. I mean, we've seen in fights where you know, like he, was, he wasn't doing too well because he's uncomfortable. And if Keith makes him uncomfortable, that's, you know, that's helping Danny, in my, in my opinion, that's helping him. But at the same time, uh, Peterson did. made him uncomfortable. And it was, you know, it was, it was uh, a, tough, a tough fight. So uh, because of the ability that Thurman has, he can do that. Or he can make it a boring, a boring fight from outside. Stick him, move, stick him, pop, pop, and fight safe. When you fought Danny, do you think that he has the power that can carry up? You know, a lot of people are saying that. Like, oh, especially Keith says he's not a real welterweight. You know, he's a 140-pounder. He's moving up. I'm a real welterweight. I'm going to show him what real welterweight power is like. Can Danny's power move up? When you felt it at 140, did it give you the indication that, yeah, maybe he can carry it up seven pounds? You know what it is? Uh, it's all about who you fight. Because, I mean, the, the, the softest punches... And his and his and his game have knockouts. So at the end of the day, it's all about who you fight. Some guys, no matter how hard you hit them, are just not going to go to sleep. They're just not going to go anywhere. And you got some guys, you can get in there and you can tap them and you can go. So I mean, it's, it's all about it's all about the, the fight, the, the matchup. Do I think he's he cannot? Thurman, I don't think Thurman 
will let him knock him out. Even if Danny catches him with one of them wild swinging left hooks, he can, if he hurts Thurman, that's one thing. But I don't, I don't know, he probably can hurt him. I don't know if anybody can get hurt in this game, but I don't, I don't think he can finish, he can finish Keith because Keith has those amazing legs and that amazing condition. And, now, and that's right there. Anybody that can move like he can can help get themselves out of danger. What fight would you feel that gave you, that made you notice Keith had good legs? Like for me, it was the clouds. When he got hit with the body shot, and he was away, able to get away, not be hit, not be tied up. So, and, and, I, and for me too, it's the Colossal fight because he got hurt. And instead of going down, and, and, and he, everybody says, oh, he can't take a body shot because he got hurt. That doesn't mean he can take a body shot. He didn't go down. He was visibly hurt. And what did he do? Like a champion, he overcame his, his what, what he was going on in the ring. Overcame adversity. I don't understand that you, either. If you're a cha yeah. champion, yeah. have to. <laughs> to be a champion, you have to overcome adversity. And he did that. Yeah, yeah. He stayed I, don't get, I don't get that. It bothers me that even they say that. Even when Cotto get hurt. Even when Cotto get hurt, what Cotto do? Cotto will box and stay away from you and, and until he, 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 he regains his confidence. It's intelligent. That's, that's, that's boxing. It would be dumb to say, I'm hurt, let me exchange with someone. And then, and then when that person who's hurt and gets knocked out for exchanging, they're like, oh, it was inexperienced. He should have clinched. Exactly. You so you, it's damned if you, you do, damned if you don't. You can't please people in boxing. Yeah. You, no matter what you do, you can't make people in boxing like you. You got to save That's what makes him a real champion. Yeah, you know? So how long you been here? I've been here whole since the end of last month. Damn. Nice. Patreon, we don't need no mic. Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> This is good though. I'm gonna be able to walk all around with this.